Hi to all, welcome to my first class on squares and square root. Today I am going to discuss properties of square numbers and numbers between square numbers. Let me take a square. Then what is its area? Area of a square you can write as side into side. If the length of the side is 1 cm, its area we can write it as 1 into 1 which is equal to 1 cm square. If the side of the square is 2 cm, how will you find out its area? As it is 2 into 2, which is equal to 4 cm square. Let me take a table containing side of the square and the area of the square. If side of the square is 1, the area is equal to 1 into 1, which is 1, and that you can write it as 1 square. If it is 2, you can write 2 into 2, which is equal to 4, is equal to 2 square. If it is 3, then its area you can write as 3 into 3, which is equal to 9, and this you can write it as 3 square. Now, if the side of the square is 4, its area you can write it as 4 into 4, which is equal to 16, and that you can write it as 4 square. Now, what about if the side of the square is 5 and 6? Do write it down. If it is 5, area is equal to 5 into 5, that is 25 is equal to 5 square, you can write. 6, 6 into 6, 36, which you can write it as 6 square. If it is so, what about the square of side n? What is its area? That you can find it out as n into n and it can be written as n square. Now consider the areas or the number 4, 9, 16, etc. Number 4 you can write it as 2 into 2. 9 you can write it as 3 into 3. 4 you can write it as 16 you can write it as 4 into 4. Similarly, 25 you can write it as 5 into 5, 36 you can write it as 6 into 6. In all these cases, these numbers can be expressed as the product of two, the number with the itself. That is 16, 4 into 4, 4 multiplied by itself. Such numbers we can call it as square numbers. That is 25 you can write it as 5 square, 36 you can write it as 6 square, then what about 49 and 81? Yes, 49 you can write it as 7 square and 81 you can write it as 9 square. In general, if a natural number m can be expressed as n square, where n is also a natural number, then m is a square number. Here is a table containing number and its square. Here up to 5 I wrote. Can you complete it? 6, 7, 8 and 9. By finding its squares. Yes. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 8, 100. These are all square numbers. The numbers 1, 4, 9, 16 are square numbers. These numbers are also called perfect squares. The 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 64, etc. We can call it as perfect squares also. Now let us discuss properties of square numbers. Here I wrote the number of 1 to 16. Do find out the square of these numbers. Yes, they are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, 254. These are all square numbers. Now, look at the digit in the unit place of the square numbers. 6, here in 256 it is 6, then 5, 6, 5, again 6, then 9, 4, 1, 0, 
again 1, again 4, again 9, again 6, again 5, again 6, again 9, 4, 1. That is, all these numbers end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 at the unit's place. Or can we say if any number ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9, a perfect square? You think about it. Now let us check what are the squares sending with the digit 1. Yes, here it is 1, that is square of 1. And here also it is sending with the 1, which is square of 9. Here also ending with the 1, which is square of 11. What about square of 90, which is equal to 361? Again, it is ending with the digit 1. That is, you can see if a number's unit place is 1 or 9, here also 1, here also 9, this square's unit place will be equal to 1. That is, if a number has 1 or 9 in the unit place, then its square ends in 1. Is there any square ending with 2 or 3? No. Then what about 4? Yes, it is 2 square. You can find it as 4. And 8 square also ends with 4. Then 12 square ends with 4. And so on. When a square number ends in 4, the number whose square it is will have either 2 or 8 in its unit place. Similarly, can you form some can you form form any other rules? What about the square sending with the digit 6? When a square number ends in 6, the number whose square it is will have either 4 or 6 in its unit place. That is 4 into 4, 16, 6 into 6, 36. So, ends with the 6. You do find out some more rules by observing the number and its square. Now, let us find out the numbers between square numbers. You know, 1 square is equal to 1 and 2 square is equal to 4. What are the numbers between 1 and 4? They are 2, 3. Sorry, they are 2 and 3. That means 2 numbers. 2 square is equal to 4 and 3 square is equal to 9. How many numbers or what are the numbers in between 4 and 9? They are 5, 6, 7 and 8. That means 4 numbers. Here we have... You have a table containing consecutive square numbers, non-square numbers between consecutive square numbers, total number of non-square numbers. Here, in between 1 square and 2 square, you will get a 2 and 3 non-square numbers, that is total number 2. Similarly, 2 square and 3 square, that is 4 and 9. You will get 5, 6, 7, 8. The total number of non-square is 4. If it is so, you do find out 3 square and 4 square, that is 9 and 16. 5 square and 6 square, that is 25 and 36. Do find out non-square numbers between these two consecutive squares. As you will get as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is 6 numbers. And between 25 and 36, you will get 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. That is 10 numbers. Now, without writing these, can you find it out the total numbers of non-square numbers between two consecutive square numbers? Here, you consider the smaller number. Here it is 1 square. Here it is 2 square. If it is 1 square, total number of non-square, you got it as 2. If it is 2 square, 
total number you got it as 4. If it is 3 square and 4 square, then total number of square, non square numbers is 6. If it is 5 square and 6 square, total number is 10. If 1 is here, then total number of non square is 2. If 2 is there, it is 4. 3 is there, 6. 5 is there, 10. If it is so, what will be, will be the total number of non square numbers between 9 square and 10 square? Since it is 9, obviously you can write it as it is 18. Because if it is 1, 2 1 are 2. If it is 2, 2 2 are 4. If it is 3, 3 into 2 6. If it is 5, 5 into 2 10. Then if it is 9, it will be 9 into 2 18. In general, we can say that there are 2 and non perfect square numbers between the squares of the numbers n and n plus 1. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.